What's going on everyone? It's Adam at the Dimebag Rig Project here. Hope you're well. In this video, we're gonna be going through an unboxing of the Dean Dimoflage. So, little backstory on this. Um, back end of March, 2022, um, I'd noticed that Gear 4 Music, a shop here in England, uh, had 24 of these coming into the UK. Now, um, going back a little bit, a couple of years ago, I'd seen that Dean had released the Dimoflage as a set neck and with the tremolo on to its predecessor, um, the Dimoflage had a bolt-on neck with a V-plate. It was a uh, hard towel. So when Dean released this, um, yeah, I was buzzing. I was like, finally, Dean had finally released a guitar that kind of looks exactly like the one Dime had. And the only thing that doesn't look like Dime's is the uh, graphic. Obviously, Dime's had the, um, the camo wrapped around the sides, on the back of the body, up the neck, and on the back of the headstock. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna ask you guys um, if I should paint up this guitar, the same as Dimes, using loads of reference photos um, that I've got from playing live, um, Evil Rob's photos, and also the crank photo shoot as well. So, as I said, back in the March, Gear for Music had 24 of these coming into the UK. Uh, put my order in, and um, on the 5th of my April, um, it got delivered. I went live on Instagram, and to my dismay, um, I'd noticed that the uh, neck join, the heel, uh, had cracked. And when I dumped the bar, it opened up a little bit. So um, I let that gear for music know, and uh, I sent it back and got a replacement, which is this one. So this is technically going to be my second unboxing. Um, but I just wanted to do this one uh, for YouTube. So um, let's give it a go. Let's see what we've got inside the box. So, first of all, on the last delivery that I got, um, it was literally a, a Gear for Music box um, with just the uh, Dean Triangular box inside. And that was it. So... Let's see what we've got inside this one. So obviously we've got all the gears. So this is a gears for music box. Ugh. And I've asked gear for music to actually check this one over before they sent it so that um, we didn't have this surprise again of a cracked heel, but we'll see what we've got inside. It's packaged up really well. When in doubt, use an Apple Pencil. <laughs> oh. Jesus, this is taking ages. There we go. Cool. Right, so, ah, lovely. You can see that, but there is plenty of this uh, bubble wrap inside to stop the uh, box from moving about, unlike the last time. That's pretty much all of it. Okay, so, as I said, last time we had this like triangular Dean box. Let's throw this, this one out of the way. So we have this triangular Dean guitars box. Um, it says on the side, you can read that, it says uh, box is not suitable for shipping purposes. So, Now, the one thing I will say is that this guitar would be better off and I wouldn't have minded paying the extra uh, £100 um, to have a hard case. Um, all of my guitars in my studio have hard cases. Um, I've got a little bit of OCD, so uh, to have all my guitars lined up with my green tape on, uh, saying what the guitar is, the tuning, and the serial number on my green tape, um, is a little bit of a me thing. I know I got that from Dimebag's uh, Vault. Um, but yeah, with no hard case, uh, it's just going to be sat there on its own. Now, luckily, I have got 
a spare hard case, um, which I can allocate it to. So, um, yeah, once I've finished this unboxing, I'll put it in its case and uh, do some nice photos for you and overlay, overlay it. Now, let's see how it comes. So, I'll open it up this way. So, as you can see, we've got the styrofoam bridge piece and it comes let's get this out of the way as well Ugh. it comes with this set piece of styrofoam in at the bottom to take the uh, the bottom of the body and it also comes with this piece to hold the headstock it comes wrapped in this like styrofoam film Headstock wrapped. Bit of tape on there. Let's take it out this and see what we have. So, as I said, there's not going to be any shock here because I've um, already unboxed one of these, as I said, on the 5th of uh, April. So I kind of already know what I'm getting. <clears throat> now, Hold it up. Mm. Look at that. So, wow. So, obviously, as I said on the uh, live unboxing, this guitar is fully specced out. It has a checklist card. Obviously we've got Grover 18 to one tuners and it's been set up with a set of DR strings. I'm not too sure what gauge, but I'm gonna be setting this in D standard. So the graphic is amazing. Obviously the silhouettes of Dimebag on there. As I said, this is fully rigged up. It's got the Floyd Rose Special, the Dean Dimebucker, it's got the, um, the sorry, the Seymour Duncan, Seymour Duncan Dimebucker, the Dean DMT, the Grover 18 to 1 tuners and DR strings. Um, the only upgrade I'm probably going to do on this is in time put an original Floyd Rose on and I'm going to put some strap locks on this bad boy. You see on the back, it's all white and we've also got the logo of Dimebag Silhouette up there with a the serial number. Now this is made in India uh, compared to its predecessors uh, which were also made in China or Korea depending uh, when Dean sourced out the contracts but uh, this new batch is India. Very solid guitar just looking at this set neck now no cracks on there at all um, I'll put up some pictures of the uh, the one I got before. The, uh, the damage was pretty heavy. A uh, couple of chips out there. Hairline crack along the neck. But here, we ain't got nothing. So yeah, that's, that's the unboxing. Uh, ROSH compliant. Serial numbers 21, 10, 15, 40. So I'm guessing that's um, 2021. October, um, it's number 1,540 made out of that particular factory, which is H, which I'm not too uh, clued up on where H is, but obviously it's India. So uh, I'll do a little bit of research and uh, let you guys know. Also another little feature on here is the soldered um, tone pot knobs that Dimebag did for that grip. Great little feature on there, but yeah, very, very happy with this guitar. Um, but yeah, as I said, I want to ask you guys if I should do the graphic on the side and, and bring this camo around. Now, the way I'm thinking about doing that is um, I've ordered some Moloto pens. Uh, I've ordered white, black, grey and dark grey. Uh, and what I'll do is obviously allocate the dark and light greys to the camo and the whites and the blacks. Uh, obviously, the blacks will just be for the silhouettes. Now, what I'll do is... Save for this corner piece of camo here, 
use my reference photos and bring the light grey around where it is. Um, and then finally work my way around the guitar and finally finish the top off, give it a lacquer. Or might just leave it, we'll see how the paint dries on there. But um, yeah, let me know if you think I should um, paint this up the same as Dimes. At the moment, it's a great piece, uh, as a, like, a, like a tribute piece, but um, me being me, it has to be uh, exactly the same as Dimes with my OCD and all. So that's that. Obviously, little background on this guitar. Obviously, in 2004, uh, Rick Dubstep uh, was sent three guitars from Dean via Dimebag uh, to paint up. He painted up the Dimeflage, he painted up the Dymo Flame, and the uh, Burple Bolt. Now, I have a Dymo Flame. The Burple Bolt was the only one that Dean hasn't released. Um, I've spoke to Rick and asked him about the processes of how he painted each guitar. And I'm thinking about doing a little video on each of those as well. Try and get a little interview from, from Rick as well. And um, we'll go from there. So this guitar needs a little bit of work. The tremolo's sunk down ever so slightly. So this just needs rebalancing. A um, little bit of fine tuning. But um, other than that. I'm very happy with this guitar. So um, yeah, let me know if you've got one of these, if you'd consider ordering one of these, because I think this may be the last batch of um, Dymo flages that Dean will probably ever do, uh, depending what the estate um, agree with Dean guitars, because obviously the lawsuit's going through and everything like that. So uh, it would be nice to have Dean still make a couple of Dime guitars that Dime played like the Dymoflage, like the Dymo Flame, the Dean from Hell. Those three Deans, I know for a fact, Dean have replicated and Dime used. Ones like, um, off the top of my head, I don't know, like the Tribute models and things like that with the Pantera um, album covers on. Not so much keen on. Um, but yeah, I think if Dean continued making these, the Diamond Fly, Flame and the uh, Dean from Hell, that'd be pretty pretty good from the from a fan's perspective. Because I couldn't imagine any other guitar having the Diamond uh, Dean Dean from Hell paint job on um, with a different branding on the headstock. It, ju it would just look odd. Um, but yeah, this is. Um, this was signed off in 010222. So uh, January, well, the 1st of February 2022. So it's quite recently been signed off. Um, I'm going to uh, level this Floyd off, tune her in, take some photos of it in its new case, uh, upload it, and um, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the new intro as well. I um, put that up on uh, on a little vote not too long ago on my Instagram. Um, like I said, if, you've, if you're if you going to get one of these, let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And um, I'll see you all soon on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy.